If things like this happened all the time. <laughs> Dino, Dino. And stuff like this happened all the time. Yes! Get in. Then Ark would be the best game ever. But it isn't because things like this happen. No! Oh my god, what's that? Put your best foot forward. That's what they always say. Put your best foot forward and just do your best. The thing is though, if you put your best foot forward, then it means you can run faster. And if you can run faster, well, it just hurts more when you run into the inevitable roadblock that Ark has planned for you, but that will come later. This is going to be the best episode ever. Why, you might ask? Well, we've got a supply drop off the bat. What, what do you have planned? Absolutely no idea. Genuinely not a Scooby. Usually I have some sort of resemblance of a plan, a structure, an idea about what I'm going to do. No idea. Not a Scooby. I'm at a crossroads. Well, no, no, not a crossroads. A crossroads in, like, um, suggests there's two options. There's many options. I'm at a roundabout here. And I can go off in so many different directions. And there's sometimes, when, when you have a specific goal, like I've had in the previous one. So, last episode, if you haven't watched it, links in the description. Spoiler alert. I flew. Flew for the first time, and that was the. I was like, I, I want to fly. I'm going to get this, and it gave me a goal, something to work towards. And then now, I, I don't have it, and I'm like, shit. What do I do? What do I do? I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm going to think about it right now. The thoughts we thunk, and as we were thinking the thunk, we spied another supply drop descending from the heavens, and the Ark Gods presented us with a plan. Hold up. Change plan. That's the supply drop. We'll fly to that. Because I can. Yeah? Because I've got a Nimbus now. We'll fly to that because I've got a Nimbus. And then, I want to go have a closer look. Do you remember way back when? God, it really is way back when. Way back when, when we went. Way back when, when we went. Way back when, when we went to here, the obelisk. I kind of just want to go have a gander at the obelisk. Up, up close and personal. But let's go get this supply drop first. Oh, the fact that I can just jump on a dinosaur and fly is insane. Honestly, this game has just come at the perfect time. I think if this game had been more janky than it is... And it wasn't on Unreal 5. And if I'm going to be really honest here, if I was, if I went back and played Ark Survival Evolved before this, I think I maybe would have struggled just because of the jank. But I'm just such a sucker for when things look pretty in games. And the game can be utter dog shit. And if it looks pretty, I'll still play it. But that's where we're at here. And this is a blue one. What do we want? What do we want? I want... Oh, my God. Oh. Okay. <laughs> but... Apparently the barrel rolls a speed boost. What is the best way to land? Just fly into the ground. Then what? Land. There we go. Sheesh. That's going to take some practice, right? Save the game. What do we want? What do we want? I want uh, a toilet. I want a toilet. What the hell? Enduro stew. This healthy dish is like a workout in the form of a meal. Consume it to deal increased melee damage, gain extra stamina regen. Effects are... <gasps> and 44 trank arrows, a bunch of beef jerky, some soap, two stone foundations, two, qu two quarter walls, and five... I'm not going to be able to fly home. Indeed, we were too heavy to fly. Well, fly at any significant speed, but that was okay, as I was in no rush. To fill the time on this slow journey home, I started absolutely waffling. But yeah, I, I just, I, I love I love playing at my own pace. I love playing by myself. I think playing with people is, I've always been a bit of a, a solo gamer myself. Um, I, I don't get me wrong, I play games with um, 
uh, friends all the time. I do have friends, I promise. I have friends. If you are my friend, please let the people know in the comments below that I do have friends. But I, I've always kind of played more by myself. Multiplayer games, I, yeah, I'll play with others. Escape from Tarkov, usually play duos, trios with that. Um, Call of Duty, you play that. But when it comes to these sort of games, I love playing by myself. Simply because it's really difficult for me to like... When you, when you, uh, this, God, this, this is going to make me sound like such an old man. And if you're young watching this, you're going to be like, when you get older, why can't I feckin' land? I know myself. When you get older, it becomes insanely difficult to organize even playing games with your pals that you're similar age. You've all got work. You've all got families. You've all got responsibilities. And genuinely, you always tell yourself, oh, no, me and the boys will be gaming for you all the time. Say, say if you're in school right now, right? Me and the boys are going to be playing games all the time. You won't. There'll come a day. There'll come a day where all of the boys, say there's six of you, where all of the boys are online. There'll come a day where that will be the last time that all six of you are online. And it will come sooner than you think. Take stock of every single second you get to play with the boys, get to play with the girls, your clan, your tribe, whatever it might be. Take stock of it. Stop. Smell the roses. Roses. Because one day, when you're old like me, you'll look back at the times that you spent together and reminisce and go, what a time. What a time. Are we all thoroughly depressed now? Cool. Yeah. Me too. Let me go drop off my stone walls and stuff. Yeesh. Listen to this old man waffle. Don't pay him any attention. He has absolutely no idea what he's talking about. Honestly. He gets 38k subs and he thinks people are interested in what he has to say. Revolting. However, speaking of subs, if you do like the video, press the button. You know, the one that's free to press that says subscribe. You see, if enough people press that free button, then who knows where this could go, yeah? How exciting. You know what isn't exciting though? The prospect of falling off a flying dinosaur. So we decided to craft ourselves some parachutes preparing for a worst case scenario. Then we saddled up and hit the skies with Nimbus. All right, a little quality of life thing for me here, allegedly. All right, space to take off. Space to land. That's it. Nice. What are we at? Full stam? Let's go, Nimbus. Let's go. Whee! Not over the ocean, though. Jesus. Oh, my God. Look at the sights that we can see, the things that we can do. Oh my god, I completely... <gasps> no! I didn't hop out of my parachute. <sighs> well, at least we got that out of our system. Soon after, we spotted a couple more supply drops that piqued our interest. <sighs> so good, man. Oof. Oh. Is that a yellow one? That looks like a yellow one, no? Is it the yellow or white? I reckon we go have a look at that. Because we can. Because we because we can. Still got loads of stamina. Being new to flying, I was constantly scared that our stamina would run out. But the freedom of being able to fly suppressed that. And we began to relish being in the skies. That is yellow. It is a yellow one. And we got a green. Do I do I land and get the green one as well? That's not landed yet. No, we'll, we'll get the yellow and then we'll come back. So, oh god, I don't want to. Oh god, look. We don't want to crash land here. What have we got over there? A couple of triceratops. There's one of them feathered things. Couple, yeah, two of the feathered, th feathered things. We've got a headwig down there. Oh, a stegosaurus, triceratops. Loads. Watch this boost. Wow. That's so cool. Big, big fan of that. 
minutes. Oh shit, stamina. Up. We should be safe for land soon. Oh wow, look how that one's glowing. Oh, oh shit. Okay, land, 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 land. Three, get off. No, 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 no. Attack it, attack it, attack it. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Sweet Jesus. Look at this. Stay. You just stay there. No, no, don't stay. You, there. I know. Look. Fuck, there's a lot going on here, and I, I'm not wearing any armor. Oh my god, what's that? Fuck! No! Nimbus! Oh! No! 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 What the fuck was that? Shit! Do they spawn around these things? Alright, just get this, get this and go. I don't. Don't even look at it. Just... Oh, shit. I'm using it. I press... The wrong things. Just go. No. was crushed absolutely crushed i had spent so long trying to tame nimbus and we had approximately seven minutes flight time before he was killed by by that it couldn't cut it the game couldn't give me that. Oh, what's that, Butch? What are you talking about? You know, that, that feeling that you get when you feel light. When you feel electric. M most, most people know the feeling is happiness. The game couldn't give me that. smell it. He can smell the happiness. Hey, Butch, look at this. What's this descending from the sky? Oh, legendary supply drop. It's yellow. Hey, come and have a look at this. Oh, there's me. Hey, let's go and have a look at it. And then it spawned whatever the fuck that was. I don't care anymore. I don't care anymore. I don't care anymore. Oh, God! I was out for blood. Out for revenge. I didn't care who it was. I needed to project my pain on others. What are you? Big blue fin tuna looking... Oh, oh my God. Fuck you. I hate you all. I hate you all. Land, sea, I didn't care. If it was breathing, I wanted it to stop. Shite bag. As we expressed ourselves with violence, we started to feel our rage crumble to frustrations about what had happened. Do you know how long it took me to tame Nimbus? Even our favourite thing in the world couldn't help us now. I had him for like... 10 minutes. I don't give, don't give me light shafts game to keep me playing. Don't give me, I mean it does look nice, but no, I'm not falling for you. You can't seduce me. Not now. No, 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 no. 
<laughs> Too much trust. We arrived back at the castle and did nothing. We stewed, we sighed, and we got all depressy. Once I had calmed down a bit, we took stock of what we had actually recovered from the supply drop. Ascendant crossbow. What's ascendant? Is that better than yellow? Journeyman plus plesiosaur saddle. Great. Yeah. Oh, metal ceiling. Fantastic. Yeah, love a metal ceiling. I have great use for that. Lazarus chowder. So your rate of oxygen. I'm not got. I'm not going underwater. Okay. Truth be told, I was genuinely quite pissed at this. I was looking forward to flying the skies and now I had to go through the effort of taming one again. While we were stewing, an unsuspecting beaver stumbled across the camp. Without really thinking about it, we captured it, fired a couple of trank arrows in and placed some food in its inventory. Should be talking right now. Should be like, oh! Communicating my feelings as I tame a beaver for the first time. Honestly, I don't want to talk. I, I, I'm genuinely crushed. I don't know what I saw with that thing. It was. I, it looked like a lobster. I saw it for like half a second, shook so much like that I then couldn't see it and then turned to run away then realized shit. Nimbus, by the time I came back dead, I need more blackberries. Whoa, blackberry, whoa, blackberry. I'm, I'm going to try and cheer up. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. It's not going to be very fun for anybody if I'm miserable. And what better way to cheer up than to test out our new crossbow? I'm sorry. I need to feel better. 600! Six hundred and ninety-five damage. That's not bad. I'm guessing that the, this must be. Ascendant must be like top notch. I had like 70 arrows. Where have they all gone? I put them somewhere in my haste to leave. And now I can't find them. Here they are, 59. You know, there is never a time in your life when getting some good beaver doesn't make it better. Having a good day? Get some beaver, better day. Having a bad day, get some beaver, no longer sad. Beavers are just wonderful. And we got one. Oh! We did it! We did it! It's ours! Wait, can we name him? Name is... It, oh, who we got? It's a... Female! You might be the first female of the clan. How do I... Uh, options. Oh. Mm. Becky. There we go. Becky. Becky the beaver. Question, Becky. What do you do? Can I not... Can you, like, free roam? Enable wandering. I want you to, like, do your own thing, you know? I'm hoping if, if I can get her to wander, she will be able to, like, do a thing and, and build stuff, okay? All right. Right. And the night time's falling. Right. Let me go put this stuff away. Then we go put my armor on. And then we're going to go out again and find another uh, Nimbus. Easier said than done, it would seem. You see, we looked 
for another Nimbus. We looked everywhere for another Nimbus, but there was none to be seen. We checked the rivers, the coast, the trees, and not a single one could be spied. In fact, at this point, I was so tired, so defeated, that I called it a day. But that's the thing about art. You never really quit. You always come back. So the next day, I loaded right back in and set about picking up from where we left off. I have a, a slight regrets coming out here without a dinosaur. My reason behind it is I don't know if the dinosaur can follow me while I'm on the, the bird. And will it get trapped? Oh look, that's one of those beaver nests. I don't want a beaver. I want a bird. I have a genuine fear. I'm, there's two things that I'm... Well, no, there's probably a lot more than two things, but in this situation, there's two things that I'm very, very bad at. Number one, spelling. Absolutely horrendous. Do you know how nerve-wracking it is to do subtitles and videos like my intro screens? And you look at a word, like, unfortunately... And you have no idea if you spelt it right. And you ask Google, how do you spell it? And you copy paste it. But the more you look at it, it still doesn't look right. That's one thing. The other thing, pronouncing names. Or pronouncing things, anything. Um, honestly, it's, especially with dinosaurs. I struggle pronouncing things in the English language. Never mind like the Latin of like dinosaurs and whatnot. I, I struggled for the longest time when, when COVID was rife. And I'm struggling now to think. I, I'm almost certain it's quarantine. But I would never know whether it was quarantine or quarantine. And I've always struggled with words and things like that. Um, in, in just pronouncing them and spelling them. and Yeah, not the best career choice for this, is it? For me, you know. I can't talk even. Oh shit, right. We got wrapped to that. That's not, that's not an alpha, is it? wild male oh no that is great fantastic wow because look there's wait did i just see a, a bird over here no there's tons over there but we can't go anywhere while that alpha raptor's there what level is it 44 yeah that's a no from me uh, so I feel like they, they go by rivers. I might cross through here. Is that risky? Cross through here, I'm thinking, and then get to around here. I think that's what I'm going to do. On foot. You guys warned me not to go on foot. F that's a bird. <clears throat> bird but yeah struggle struggle with spelling spelling and pronouncing save the game we set foot through the forest and although it was squeaky bum time nothing came to harm us mercifully the sun began to rise as well which would make our task of finding another flying dino much much easier but we ended up finding something else instead I tell you what, I'll be happy with... I'll be happy with daytime. Is that... Is that a raptor? Get down here. Oh my... Oh my god. My frames. What was that? 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 Where have my frames gone? Oh my god! Is that? Is that what attacks me? What is that? What is that? Oh no, 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 no. Oh! R r r rhino. R rini rinio rhino gather. R r r shit. Oh god. Okay, we need to leave here. There's. Oh wait, there's one. 23. Oh god. What the hell? Oh, save the game. Save the game. Relax. Save the game. Sort your frames. 
We saved our game and we sorted our frames out. And when we loaded back in, it was like something out of a movie. There were fighting animals everywhere. Uh, a male, that, that thing, Raptor 28. Okay, now we, we probably want to stay away from that. I think, oh, oh, there's a Stegosaurus over there. Oh, I think we, oh my sweet Jesus. Oh, <gasps> it died. We just witnessed a murder. Three feathered things beat the lobster. Hey, and did that raptor die as well? Oh my God. Death was the flavor of the month today on Ark, it seemed. And I wasn't the only one that was suffering from it. Nice to know you're not the only one, I suppose. Luckily for us, we spied a Nimbus shooting across the river soon after. Oh, look, it's there. It's there, it's there, there, there. Is that the one? 31, oh, that's a new one. Ah, oh, shizer. Come over here, come over here. I'm not going to be able to hit... Look at that tracking. I'm not going to be able to hit uh, that with a bowler while it's flying. And we weren't, so we closed the gap between us and the new Nimbus by crossing the river carefully avoiding the angry looking feathered birds. Once we got to the other side, we took the high ground to give us a better vantage point to locate it. I have no idea. <gasps> Is that it? Is he there? 31, level 31. Yes. Target acquired. Let's go, 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 go. Is it landing? Yes. Oh, absolutely perfect for me that right i know there's combis here but that's fine right let's prepare for this tranko hello sir right i need you to just stay there okay shit shit what's wait no no oh 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 <sighs> that was not meant to happen. Oh. I'm not going to talk about it. It happened. Let's move on. Because I moved on. Moved on towards the coast where eventually we found another Nimbus. And this time, I wasn't going to let anything stop me from taming it oh <gasps> right what are we saying uh, two level two you wouldn't survive a trank arrow 23 okay you'll do right excuse me wait save the game save the game in case anything goes awry here right there we go right here we go right just don't panic don't move everything is going to be fine He's out already. Right, okay, fantastic. Put that crossbow away. And then I think was it was it that? Or was it the was it the berries? I can never remember. I can never remember. But I'm gonna take loads of these because I, I want to find some narco berries as well. I'm gonna get this done. What I will also say, with for complete transparency, I have upped the taming rate ever so slightly. The taming rate default that I didn't touch was at two. I've now put it to three, just to try and speed things up a little bit. Um, namely because I have a life. And if it's taken this long to to, to, to tame something like this, oh my God, when we get to high levels, um, that's going to be a bit of an issue. Right. These ones I've been told are the best for herbivores. So we're going to put both of those in and then we're going to leave it, I think. And just keep going for narco berries because then we can, we can keep him, keep him asleep. Things were going well, but it turned out we had even better luck as when we were harvesting for narco berries, we spotted another Nimbus, but this time it was even higher level. <sighs> so you're level 50. To I actually think... I actually think it might be better to try this one. Sod it, yeah. It's like an extra 20 levels higher. Let's do it. We're switching it up. We're switching it up. 
you're probably going to need a little bit more. And this probably, probably will take a while, right? What we're going to do is, well, let's put that away to be, put that away to begin with. Right. Raw meat in, raw meat in. Loads of raw meat. Just take all of the raw meat, as much raw meat as you can eat. And then I'm also going to put them in there ready. Okay. We'll see how we get on. All right. Level 52. 52. Whilst we were waiting for this new Nimbus to hurry up and be tamed, we noticed that a supply drop was falling from the sky on the other side of the river. But this one looks slightly different. Why is that glowing, though? I'm s Right, here's a question. Here's a question that I don't know the answer to. See when we got attacked by the massive flying lobster thing? Did that spawn because we were a legendary watcher, McCollum? Or was that sheer coincidence? I don't know if more like dinos spawn as you progress through the days or as you get a higher level. Or whether we were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Or whether that was slightly scripted because they spawn around those things. If you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Anyway, I'm going to get him to eat all of this. Get that torba -de 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 up. Oh, it's flying up. Look at that. There we go. There we go. Oh, I don't, I don't want you eating that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Right, that's going back up. You got enough raw meat. Right. I'm going to go while we're waiting and have a gander at that. If... If we can get across this ocean. Oh, God, yeah, we've got to go upland a little bit, haven't we? It's probably not the best idea to leave leave him just sleeping. Putting my big boy pants on, we went slightly upstream in preparation to cross the river and check out the pulsing supply drop. Okay, are we good? Nothing too dodgy in the water here. All right, let's go, 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 go. We're going to get to this bit here. Just double check again. There's now dodgy in the water. Uh-oh, I've got about that. Okay, just go. <gasps> ah! No, 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 Shit. Oh, no. No, you know what? No. No, no. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh. Seeing the shark just there. Nah, I didn't think they'd be there. No, that's there. And then the big spiny thing. I think it's actually called a spinosaur. Could be wrong, though. Um, yeah, no. We'll go back here and then hopefully... Well, look, we've tamed 57%. So if, if we just wait another seven hours, um, we should be able to uh, get him and then we'll fly over. Oh, never mind. It's gone. The Ark Gods were teasing me there. They knew I would get curious and want to investigate, but they blue-balled me with sharks in the dark. All that we could do now was wait. That's a proper snore, that is. I don't think I snore too much. My uh, girlfriend says I don't. Well, sometimes I do. If I've been drinking, I snore sometimes. Then to find around Christmas, when it's, see, when I've had a lot of blue cheese. Mm, a lot of cheese in general, actually. Cheese boards and stuff. And a lot of cider. I'm also partial to rum and coke. They have a combination of them. Plus, with it being the winter, I've probably got a cold as well. You end up snoring such a guttural snore. And you wake up with a mouth like Gandhi's flip-flop, like... But you don't have an ounce of moisture. Yes! Get in! Terran Odin. Um... Now... I have been told... That there's quite a special person... That watches these videos oh my god my heart's racing a little bit and i don't know why we're gonna call listen i know it's a female but let's pretend ryan i've been told that we have someone called ryan who is nine years old that watches these videos now i don't know how many nine-year-old ryans there are that watch this video but I'm talking to one specifically. Your dad told me in my Discord that you watch these videos and that you really look forward to them. 
And I, Ryan, I genuinely can't tell you how much I appreciate you watching them. I am so, so thankful that you're enjoying watching these videos. And listen, if it's only you, Ryan, that watches these videos for the rest of my life, I will continue to make these videos just for you. Now, what your dad also said, and this is a promise. So, dad, I know you're watching this too. This is a promise. You said that you were going to get Ryan a McDonald's. Actually, I'll have a McDonald's as actually i think your dad said he'd buy mcdonald's for everybody so in in a comment that comment down below what's uh what's the mcdonald's order everybody let's let's get it going for ryan's dad um personally i would quite like um i'm gonna go a big mac i'm a big mac kind of guy but can i get the extra big mac sauce um and some extra onions on there as well maybe some extra mayo i like it to the point where you've got the big mac and yet you bite down on it it just like just dribbles all out the side um a large fries please a large fanta uh thanks very much i'm also gonna go for a large vanilla milkshake as well um that that's the kind of after after i've eaten the big mac um 20 box of chicken nuggets with the the kind of the the sour cream dip um can i have 78 of the little barbecue sauces as well um i think that'll be every oh no double cheeseburger double cheeseburger so there you go but Ryan, we've named a dinosaur after you. Now I will do my absolute best to, to look after, to look after you as best as I can. Okay. So everybody say hi to Ryan. Hello, Ryan. <laughs> oh, please, for the love of God, you have to survive. I will be cancelled. It's a YouTuber. If I let the dino that I've just named after nine-year-old Ryan die, so we are going to do our utmost to look after you. Right, let's put the saddle on, Ryan. So, um, oh, you're level 77 now. A level 77, Ryan. What more could you ask for? Well, more weight skill points because I was way too overweight to even move with Ryan. We managed to discard some things that we didn't need to allow Ryan to fly with us on his back albeit very, very slowly. Once we were home, we shed our weight by dropping our armor and weapons before jumping back on Ryan to head out into the unknown and go on a proper adventure. This is cool. This is cool. Oh, there's a supply drop there. Should we grab a gander? Mm, I'm kind of scared to go with supply drops on this thing now. I mean, it's right there. We better have a look if it's right there. Look, look. See what I mean? That is orange. This not orange i mean that's green but it has an orange pulse to it interesting what does that mean all right what do we got nothing heavy i hope uh i don't have pheromonia okay i actually i'm actually not going to take any of that because i want the weight free so ryan goes fast let's go have a look at that one shall we it, wait, does that mean, though, that, like, that thing will spawn? Is that what that means? If I go near it, a lobster thing will spawn? Oh. <laughs> oh, I don't like going over the ocean here. Oh, God, do not press the wrong button, for the love of God. I'm not even going to level up. I'm going to take all fingers off other than my middle finger, which is on W. Oh, I don't like... Whoa. Whoa really uncomfortable at that that's i don't i know i'm not gonna look i'm not gonna look let's oh, i'll put, put it down over here because then i might have enough time if if something nasty does spawn to get away is it gonna spawn again is something gonna spawn is that what that means if i go in it no Wait, does it mean because... Oh, shit. That's level... That's... Wait, 20. Oh, that would be so nice to take, but... Ouija juice. The orange glow might indicate a rare or powerful item was held inside the supply drop. 
that the previous yellow one we found an ascendant crossbow and in this one a mastercraft raptor saddle regardless i couldn't carry this loot with me on ryan as we would be too heavy so i hatched a cunning plan oh look this oh wait i could use the wooden foundation from here look but if i just did this so we kind of this, this is kind of easy to see on the map isn't it yeah right on this peninsula um Ryan, that's not an immature word, by the way. That that's what you call that that is I think it is a peninsula. Just don't call your dad one. You'll get in trouble. Storage box. We crafted a storage box to leave on the wooden foundation. This way we could store the items in and return with a dino that was more suitable to carrying more weight at a later date. Genius, I thought. Genius! Now the loot was safe, at least I hoped it was, we could set off back into the skies. Oh, I really, really, really don't like being on the, um, on the, <laughs> over the ocean. Let's look this way. What the? How high can you fly? I just want to see the... Where was I looking? I thought it was the end of here. But now I'm questioning myself. Um, I want to see how high we can go. <laughs> like, ooh, like vertical. I don't know. Can you go up to one of them? What happens <laughs> if you fly through the beam? Will we die? I'm not, I'm not going to test that on Ryan. We can adopt a peasantry. Terra -na 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 -na. Oh. You could just see some figures in the water, like not the sharks, but like rocks and vines and stuff underneath. Save the game. Oh no, I think we have been here before. Yeah, we have, we have, we have. This is where we died to whatever killed us. And uh, we came back in the night when we built the raft. So we have been here. I'm just going to do a flyover. Just see if there's... What the f... Uh, what? Oh. What is that? Once your fall is complete, stay close to the sanctuaries. Within them, small pockets of life still flourish in an otherwise barren garden. Beyond their spheres of influence, you will find an endless sea of decay, ruled by shadows and death. The first of these sanctuaries is the Great City. Though it is no longer a metropolis, a jungle blooms in its place, and you may find a modicum of shelter within its crumbling walls. The others will be more familiar to you, if only for the towers you'll find at their center. Those are the source of their power, the obelisks. They are not quite the same as the ones you're familiar with, not quite as advanced, but that's to be expected. They're an older model. Precursors. Or more aptly, prototypes. What? Once your fall is complete, stay close to the sanctuaries. Within them, small pockets of life still flourish in an otherwise barren garden. Wait, fall? Who's fall? Fall from what? The endless sea, okay. The first of these sanctuaries is the great city. Though it is no longer a metropolis, a jungle blooms in its place, and you may find a modicum of shelter within its crumbling walls. If only the others would be more familiar. What, sanctuaries? The obelisks are a sanctuary? Is there something underneath them? 
Oh my god. This must be something to do with the I am Groot lady that we've seen at the very, very beginning when you load up the game for the first time and you get that dramatic cutscene because I got goosebumps then. And then when this started talking to me, I got goosebumps as well. Whoa. Save the game. Interesting. I wonder what the hell that was. Right. My god. I missed that. I think I was literally standing here when we got attacked by that thing. Right, hold up. Did I save the game? Save the game. Level up. Wait, I'll get that weight to like 200, then I'll do stamina, okay? But for now, let's just go. Come on. Up, 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 and away! Wow! That was like story stuff. It was, uh, that is so big. Oh, I don't think we've been here before. Like over this thing. I didn't really know what to make of that, but it was awesome. On this island, you're alone. Sure, you have your dinosaurs for company, but as a human, a person, you're completely alone. When you pick up these voice notes, it's your one connection with your kin. It makes you feel less lonely. Like, even though there is no one with you there right now, at least someone has been here. It was equal parts confusing and comforting. But before we knew it though, we found ourselves at the base of the big red obelisk. Oh my god! That is in the mountain. That's in the mountain indefinitely. I was there last time we were here. God, they are so big. Okay, I'm not going into the beam. Wait, no, get full stamina. Get full stamina. If we can land here, that would be fantastic. Yeah, get full stamina. <laughs> then we're just going to go and see how high we can go. All right, there we go. Let's go. Oh. Now, I don't have a fear of heights. I don't like heights, but it, I, I want... It's like... Nowhere near my fear of ocean, <laughs> you know. But having said that, this is making me a little bit... Oh, wow. Yeah, it's more of a, a, a really uncomfortable feeling, I would say, uh, going high. It's like an altitude thing in this game. I, I, I'm not going to be um, getting, like, less effective the higher I go up here. Wow. Oh my god, look how high we are going. What happens if like I touch it though? Like the beam. I don't I don't I don't I don't want to risk Ryan. I'll, oh god, there's another obelisk over there, look. Oh my god. My god, how are we doing? Loads of stamina. Absolutely loads. Oh, wow. That that does make my bollocks tingle a little bit. I'll tell you that. It does make it tingle. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Save the game. What did I just go through then? Oh. Oh, there's a ceiling. Oh, I see. Right, is that the ceiling? Wait, what is that? Oh, it's probably just to stop me going too high. I wanted to get on top of that, but that's cool. Should we touch it? Oh, I don't... Oh, I feel a bit wappy here. I'll touch the metal and then we can say we've been here. <laughs> we touched it. <laughs> Dino. Dino. We had touched the obelisk and we didn't die. So that was a big win all round. We were feeling slightly uncomfortable though being this high. So we descended down to a less tingle of the bollock level and whacked out our spyglass to take in the surroundings. Being high up, flying through the skies it was the most free and comfortable i had yet felt in arc nothing could harm me up here 
There were no dangers other than myself and a misclick to accidentally jump off Ryan. But apart from that, there was nothing. It was beautiful. That's awesome. We found that um, alien uh, note thing as well. Brilliant. Oh, God, look. Oh, it's raining. Oh, atmosphere. Let's have a gander at... Sorry, I'm pressing all... I'm getting too excited here. Whoa. Oh, it's in the... Oh, that looks like Mordor. It's even got a burnt tree. Is that a supply drop? Or is that glowing from the cave? Or a cave. I presume there's a cave there. Interesting. Whoa! Snow! Snow! There's snow... Oh my god, the snow. Oh, oh god, that's a big ass mountain at the back. Oh, okay. Snowy biome. That's a thing. Look at that. A rock. Oh, this is so cool, man. It's so god, this is awesome. Right, any oh shit, wrong button. Right. Come on. Let's go have a look at this rock. Beautiful. Just beautiful. We flew towards the big hill and set Ryan down as we looked around. Is that a long necked? A diplod. Oh, no, it's not. It's smaller and spikier. My God, you wouldn't want to tame that, would you? Look at those spikes. You'd either be really happy or really sad if you sat on one of them. God, it's tanking my frames, this. Still looks pretty, though. <laughs> Amazon Prime delivery? Nice. Oh, oh wait, look at this, look at this. <laughs> Dino, Dino, Dino. That is awesome. Look at the lighting with the blue bit as well. Oh, God, look, down there. I fucking knew there would be something. Yes, that's a nice little chesticle for me to open shortly. And you guys really shouted at me um, for not... Oh, God, the redwoods. Oh. Um, you guys shouted at me for not listening to the note while on the dino. Because apparently I get XP when I open a note. And if you do it on dino, the dino gets XP as well. You lot are these meta people, aren't you? I can tell you all do PvP. Because you're shouting at me if I don't do something efficiently. We had started losing some frames, so we restarted our game, which unfortunately meant that the supply drop disappeared. But we did on get the note, and it told us all about a bat that lived in a cave, and it was interesting and all, but what was really interesting was... everything. I couldn't get enough of sightseeing in the skies. Right. It's night time. We go back. Let's go home. Look at this hideous state of the rocks that I can't fix. Let let us go home. We'll go over we'll go over over the land this way. And we'll just basically see what I can do. I will warn you, there will probably <laughs> be quite a lot of episodes of me doing exactly this. Just flying over going, Oh my god, look at this. Oh my god, look at that. I do apologize. Oh, we've got four points. Jesus. Right, there we go. We got to 200. Rest goes up stamina now. There we go. Beautiful. Save the game. Save the game. But yeah, there's going to be so many times. What is that underneath me? Is that that Diplo, Diplodocus thing? Dip, Diplo? I kind of... I do find the audio... It doesn't align to left and right well for me. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them some ham. This, this will be interesting though. So, it, see when you're playing PvP. You can just see all the bases. It would be cool to see like little campfires dotted about and he can just go and say hi. But from what I understand, that Ark isn't that sort of game. It's, I don't know. Is it quite like, is it like Rust? I played a little bit of Rust in my time and that is 
toxic as hell. I wonder if Ark's the same. I guess it depends. I, I'd imagine there may be servers that are geared towards more kind of like friendly kind of orientated where you still have that aspect of pvp but it's maybe there's rules and regulations to it like a purge time where you can only like i don't know the, the thing that i didn't like about rust was that you'd graft and grind to build a base that you thought was awesome and impenetrable and had such a good time doing it you then you know have to go and live life go to work go to school do whatever you needed to do and then he came back and it had just been raided and that for me was an instant motivation loss because I was like, I just don't have the time to like graft and, and build something like that again. So I just didn't and I just stopped. What's all that there? That's just shrubbery that isn't it? I don't want to land. Uh, we, don't, we, don't, we don't need green. If it was blue, maybe. But for now, I don't, I don't not, I'm not that fussed about that. So let's just keep going. Let's just keep going, shall we? That waterfall. Oh, that is a waterfall. Oh, that would be a cool place to build a base, wouldn't it? Look how cool that looks. Look how cool that looks. That's like a purple one. Oh, no, it's yellow. Never mind. That's a yellow one. That's green. We've got red. All the primary colors. No, no, don't go up there. Land on it. Now. <laughs> we did it. Nice. Ooh. What is that? Why is that glowing? Is that glowing? Hold up. Oh, for the love of... No, get back on. You fall off here. You ain't never getting... It. Oh. What the hell? Oh, it's not glowing, but it's a new one. Barry. It looks like a walking crocodile. Oh, look at those teeth, man. Absolutely not. It's like it's like a cross between an aggressive fish and a crocodile. No, thank you. What else have we got around here? Can we can we see anything of interest? There's a triceratop down there. Oh well look, literally we're just talking about it and we've seen the new dinosaur. Look, it genuinely looks like it's glowing though. Um, I don't see any notes or anything, so. Yabba dabba doo! Oh god, look! The, the spiny thing's getting attacked by a shark! Whoa! <laughs> oh, look! <laughs> Look, 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 look. Wait, where'd it go? Oh, it's there, it's there. Spino, it is a spiny thing. Oh, go on, shark. No, actually, no. Fuck the shark. Go on, spi- No. I tell you what, just both make each other bleed out. Oh, my days. We're literally witnessing a, a frat party conversation here. After they get half smashed. Like, hey, bruv, 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 bruv. I don't know why they're speaking an English accent if it's a frat party. Bruv, what do you think would win in a fight between a Spinosaurus and a massive shark? Well, one of them's going to die. I actually think the shark might... No, no, no. Level 49, that Spino's going to batter the shark. I mean, the shark's in its natural environment, its natural territory. But Spino was like, look, I mean, Spino's pretty beat up, though. I tell you, I, mm, I don't know. My head says Spino, but the heart's saying, oh, the Spino died. Oh, get wrecked. And a level up. Thank you very much. Thank you kindly. Why am I leveling up so much? It's class. I felt like I was witnessing the pay-per-view boxing event of the year right there. It was all very exciting. In fact, today has all been very exciting. It was time to return home, settle down, and tuck in for the night. All right, let's set it down here. Set it down, set it down. Whoa, 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 Ryan. 
just chill out a little bit, yeah? Chill out. That's special. Oh, look at that. It's so good. <sighs> when I look back on things, retrospectively, we did absolutely nothing this episode. We achieved what we already achieved last episode in getting Ryan. I mean, we, we survived. That's one thing. We visited an obelisk and we touched it. Didn't really do anything. We uh, we did find the note. That was probably the highlight, I would say, for me, finding that note. But apart from that, we did absolutely nothing. Big thank you to my YouTube members and my Patreon. Yeah, I have a Patreon and I do actually have quite a lot of exclusive content on there. Things like my recent Pokemon pack opening that, spoiler alert, didn't go so well. Go and check out the Patreon. But most importantly, thank you, Ryan. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Save the game. Click and scroll up.